Okay, so for this kettlebell blast, I'm going to keep it fairly simple. We're just going to do three giant sets, so five exercises uh, back to back, and we're going to do three sets. The first set is going to be more of a warm up, and then the next two are just going to be a build up uh, of the first. So grab in a hold of your kettlebell whenever you're ready. Come into standing. So I'm using a 10 kilo kettlebell. So it doesn't need to be particularly heavy. And just grabbing a hold of your kettlebell and just coming into some around the welts. So just passing the kettlebell around your back and then bringing it around the front. So just warming up the shoulders a little. And then taking it in the other direction. Then bring the kettlebell to your chest. Let's go into this goblet squats. We're going to go for 10 reps of goblet squats. So sitting into it. Keep your chest up tall, nice and flat back. Elbows ideally coming in between the thighs if you can. The hips just slightly underneath the knees. And then come back up. We'll go nine more of those. Sitting down, coming up. Eight. Keep the thighs drawing apart from each other as you come down. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Coming up to standing here, we're just going to go into overhead press. Okay, push your kettlebell up overhead. Keep rib cage drawing in. Pelvis gently tucking under, tight abs. Push it up, nine, eight, seven. Jones are clicking. Six, try to push the kettlebell up and back. Try to get biceps outside of the ears. Five, four, three, two, and one. Coming into lunges. So the leg that's lunging back, we're going to have the kettlebell in that hand. Standing forwards, we're going to take a big step back with the right leg, drop the right knee, step back forwards. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Changing arms, left hand, left kettlebell, left leg, step back, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming into kettlebell shoulder press. So we're going to bring the kettlebell up and we're going to stack it or back it onto the bicep, elbow up. So here, this position, so stacked on top of the bicep. And then here, pushing knuckles towards the ceiling, kettlebell pushes up 10. Bring it back down, stack it on top of the bicep. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Change arms. Again, stack it on top of the bicep, elbow up. Other hand, doing whatever feels good for you to balance. Push up 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Grab hold of the kettlebell on both sides. Coming into a kettlebell row. Here we're going to bend the knees, push the bum back, hinging at the hips. Chest over. Feel like we're rowing. Kettlebell pulling it towards our belly button. Bring it to the floor. We're going to go for 25 reps here. So draw shoulder blades together, squeeze upper back. Right, really engage the upper back muscles. 20, 19. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
Three, two, one. Keep that one down. Shake it off a little. Feel free to take some water if you've got water. So now all we're going to do is build up on that first set. The goblet squat and then the overhead press. We're just going to bring that exercise together. We're going to go into kettlebell thrusters, sitting down, pressing up, bring the kettlebell back down, hold, then squat. We're going to put the lunge in with the overhead press. So we'll lunge back, kettlebell stacked on top of the bicep. We push up, reset, reset yourself, set it back, push up. Kettlebells, we're just going to go into single arm row each side. 15 reps, single arm row. I'm going to do the row, we're trying to pull the shoulder blade back. So feel like you're initiating the pull from the shoulder blade to pull back with a straight arm, and then the elbow bends to draw the arm back, squeezing, engaging a bit of bicep. Then we're going to go into press ups, feel free to do them modified or full press ups, and then we're going to go into a side plank variation. So we've got one, two, three, four, five exercises. I mean, if you count the first two as two exercises, then it's seven. So, keep grabbing hold of your kettlebell. You can hold the kettlebell like this. Oh, I just prefer it like this. Holding, setting ourselves up for our kettlebell thruster. So toes turning out, knees tracking the toes, feet outside of the hips or underneath the hips. Whatever feels good for you, sit down, elbows in between the thighs. Let's go for 15. Push up, 14. Push up, 13. 12. Bring it down, 11. Bring it down, 10. Bring it down, 9. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Okay, take a few breaths. Big compound movement, so get some the heart rate going, gets the blood pumping. Okay, so kettlebell stacked on top of the right arm. We're going to lunge back with the right leg. As we come forward, we're going to push. Ten. Step it back. Nine. Eight. Six. Five. Four. Really drive the kettlebell up as you come through. Two more. Or three more, sorry. Three. Two. One, changing arms. So the kettlebell is going to stack on top of the left bicep, elbows up. We're going to step back with the left leg. We're going to push up tall. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, Woo. coming into single arm rows, same position as we was earlier, so hinge at the hip bump goes back, elbow, knuckles face forwards, left hand rest on the left thigh, and then here, slight posterior pelvic tuck, and your bottom drawing in, tight trunk, we're going to draw the shoulder blade back, bicep pulse, 15, Really feel like you're engaging back muscles. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Change sides. Hinge at the hip, one goes back, it's like pelvis tuck, belly button draws in, tight abs, right hand can rest on right foot. 15, 14, pull through the back muscles, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, and one. Right, get into the cup bar for a second. Set yourself up for your press ups. Feel free to modify if you want, you can bring knees to the floor. Hands underneath the shoulders. Push the floor away, ground into the upper back, tuck the pelvis, step back, high plank. Shoulders and head move forwards for our press ups for 10. Push up to nine. Push up. Eight. Push up. Seven. Push. Six. Push. Five. Push. Four. Three. Two. One. Alright. Check out the wrist a little, take a breath. We're going to go into a high plank, we're going to take it into a side plank, and then we're just going to change sides. We're going to go for 10 each side, 20 reps total. So setting ourselves up in our high plank, push the floor away, come onto the outside leg of the left foot, right foot steps on top, right fingertips reach high, 20, change the sides, come onto the outside leg of the right foot, left fingertips reach, 19. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. So we're trying to push the hips high as we come through, reach up tall. 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it off now. I need more water. Where's my water? So we're going to do that once more, same same, we're just going to change the ab exercise. So with the ab exercise, what we're going to do, as we go side to side, you've got the option to stay there, or you can lift the up the leg, lift the upper leg, so let me just show you, it's easier. So as we go over, we can lift up, and then with the top leg, we can try to draw that into the elbow. Come across, reach up, elbow. All right, when you're ready, grab back a hold of your kettlebell. Chest up nice and tall. Feet hips distance, toes turning up. Let's sit down, 15, push, 14, push, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right, shake out your arms a little bit. Get yourself ready for these lunge presses. We started right side last time, let's start left side this time. So rack the kettlebell on top of the bicep. Right hand doing whatever you want to counterbalance. Step the left foot back, come through, push. Step it back, push. Step it back, push. I think that's three. Four. Five. Wouldn't recommend doing this with a watch on. Watch is digging into my wrist. Doesn't feel good. Four. Three to go. Three. Two. One. Change arms. So stack the kettlebell onto the bicep. Knuckles facing towards the ceiling. Big step back right leg. As you come through, big push up. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. Again, shake it out a little. Right, coming into that single arm row. Start right time, and start left side this time. So, here, chest up tall. Hinge at the hips, the bum goes back, chest up. It's like pelvis tuck, tight abs. Knuckles face forwards, draw the shoulder blade back, pull in for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Change it. Hinge the hip. Come back. Knuckles face forwards. Pelvis tucks under. Draw back. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, shake it off, get a bit of a swell, it's pretty warm in here. All right, press ups next. Modified full press ups, it's up to you. Take your position, sit yourself up first on the tabletop, push the floor away, pelvis tucks under, high plank, set the feet back. Shoulders and head falls down, push off. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe. Set ourselves back up into our high plank. 10 reps each side, high plank. Let's go side plank, outside leg of the left foot, right fingertips to the ceiling. Option, right elbow, right knee, high plank. Other side, option left elbow, left knee, high plank. 18 to go. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, I'm sitting on your heels. Get your breath back. Come to line on your back. So as the feet flat on the floor, just take a few breaths in. Lying down. This will just bring the heart rate down. So start to try to take control of the breath. Deep breaths in. Deep breaths out. Try to slow down the breath. Bring your both knees in towards the chest. Give a gentle little hug. Keep a hold of the left shin, let the right heel reach away from you. Right hand onto the left shin. Let the left knee fall towards your right. And then here we're just taking a gentle twist. Looking over the left shoulder towards the left fingertips. Drawing these back into the chest. Keep hold of right shin. Left hand on right shin, right fingertips reach away, right knee towards your left. Try 
bring these back into center. Gently start to walk up and down the spine and just bring yourself up into a comfortable seated position. And that'll do.